First and last exercise of all daily performance of yoga is Shavasana. This asana is for relaxation. Technique. Lie flat on the back, place hands a little away from the eyes with palms up. Keep eyes and feet slightly closed. Stretch the legs out. Keep heels together and toes apart. Now close the eyes and breathe very slowly. Begin to relax each part of body. Breathe normally. Relax brain during breathing out. Direct your attention to the breathing, to the soul and to the God. Return this meditation for 10 to 15 minutes. This asana is very useful for removing excess fat of the body. Technique. Lie flat on the back. Keep arms by the side of the body. Keep heels and feet together. Inhale slowly. Then lift the legs up slowly. Retain this position for 6 to 8 seconds. Hold the breath. Bring legs slowly down on the floor. Then exhale. Take rest for 6 to 8 seconds and repeat 5 times. This asana is good for abdominal muscles. This asana can be done in the opposite way too by lifting head up, locking the hands and touching the knees with elbows. And leg up and coming down, that's it. Lie flat on the back, keep the heels of both legs together. Inhale deeply and bend the knee towards stomach and hold it with both hands. Raise the head above the ground and bring nose closer to the knee so that it touches kneecap. Exhale and press muscles of abdomen with the eye. This first do with right leg, then left and finally two legs together. Each do five times. This asana cures diseases such as gas, constipation, appendix, piles, rheumatism, etc. Done. Oh. One, two, three, you tell. This asana stimulates blood circulation. Technique. Lie flat on the back with the arms stretched by the side of the body, palms flat on the ground, legs together and keep them straight. Inhale and raise the legs up slowly. Inhaling and raising of legs up should be simultaneous. Do not bend knees. Do not raise the arms. Do not bend the back. When legs come up to 90% exhale and at the same time begin lowering the legs over the head till toes touch the ground. Keep knees together and straight. Keep legs straight. 
then breathe normal till the asana is completed. Do not breathe through the mouth. Let chin touch the throat. Hold this position for 10 seconds, then come back slowly. Do this five times. Sarvangasana technique. Lay on the back with the body fully stretched. Inhale and raise legs together. Raise legs, hips and trunk in a continuous movement until they attain a vertical position. Then support the back on two sides with both the hands. Keep the legs raised straight up. Breathe normally. Do this 10 to 15 minutes, then slowly come down without jerking the spine. Shirshasana, headstand pose. This asana is called the king of all asanas. Technique, spread a blanket, fold or cloth on the floor and kneel on it. Interlock the fingers of the hands and put them on the floor. Then place top of the head on the clasped hand between elbows. Raise the legs slowly. Do this exercise patiently with caution. Keep the heels of the legs upwards in the direction of the sky. Breathe in the normal way, then slowly lower the legs. Breathe through nose, never breathe through mouth. For a support, beginners try near wall. There are four more similar techniques. Please see here the poses. After Shri Sasana, doing Suptavadrasana will be good. Ready.